Hey everyone, it's your girl Diana and I am back with another video. So today's video is going to be a one month review on the Ali Pearl hair that I have installed right now. So it's a 16 inch 360 frontal with two bundles of 22 and 20 inch body wave hair. So if you want to see my thoughts on what I think about this hair one month after installing it, stay tuned. Okay, so Originally, I ordered a 16 inch 360 frontal with 18, 20, and 22 inch body wave hair. So I made my own wig using the hot glue gun method and I sewed the 360 frontal onto a dome cap and then glued the tracks on. I didn't film it because it was my first time doing it and quite frankly, if I screwed it up, I didn't want anybody to follow my lead. <laughs> so I figured I would just do it off camera and see how it goes and thank God because I did make some mistakes and I will do a video on what I learned going forward with these 360 frontals but that's for another time I'm gonna go over five things tangling manageability ability to hold a curl shedding and luster so number one tangling does this hair tangle mmm so for a rating out of five, five being really good, doesn't tangle at all, and one being tangles like crazy, I would give it a four. The reason I give it a four is when it is in its natural state, which is a slight body wave, after I washed it, the really nice defined body waves fell, which I expected was going to happen. But um, when I have it straight, there isn't really any tangles like right now it's straight but it does have a little bit of Moroccan oil in it so there isn't really any resistance on my fingers going through it um, there isn't any tangling at the back I'd say if you put this hair on in the morning go to work or go about your day and then take it off in the evening you might have a few small little snags but nothing where your hand can't get through it um, so I would give it a four the reason I give it a four is because it does tangle a little bit is because there is a little, few little snags and for that reason I'll give it a four next shedding in terms of shedding um, one being so I'll rate it a five one being sheds like crazy and five being doesn't shed I would give it a four and a half and the reason I'll give it a four and a half is because I did not cut actually I lied I did cut my wefts, but because they are hot glued onto the dome cap, they, there is no shedding in terms of long strands of hair coming out, but with brushing it to keep it straight, or even when it's um, wavy, oh, I forgot one thing. So when it's in its natural state body wave, there are, it doesn't tangle or anything like that. There's more snags, but it's nothing that can't be you know work through with your fingers and there isn't like resistance that like you're not doing one of these to get your fingers through your hair it's really exactly how I'm doing it right now and there's small little snags but other than that nothing and there are no hairs on my fingers which is really good but other than that it doesn't shut at all it's pretty good um, in terms of brushing it I find at the end of the day especially if I haven't brushed my hair all day which is a really good thing about this hair in terms of manageability you don't really have to brush it a lot in order for it to look really good I will get a lot of I'll get strands on the brush but it's not like my my floor is covered in hair which is pretty disgusting so for that reason I'll give it four and a half out of five in terms of shedding um, next in terms of manageability, this hair is super manageable and low maintenance. I like to keep it in a straightened state because I really like straight hair. And I got the best of both worlds with this hair because it's once you wash it and the waves drop, it's literally just a slight little wave, really. It's not even a proper wave, just really, really slight. Um, so it's practically straight anyways. Like I straightened this hair out, I'd say five days ago. I've had it up in a ponytail when I've gone to the gym um, and it still is pretty straight. Um, it's really manageable. I find that I don't need to constantly brush my hair throughout the day to have it looking really good. It stays looking really good. Um, I just put it on, secure it with my got to be glue if I want to and then 
that's it. It's really manageable. And then that's it. Like it's really, really manageable. And I don't find that I need to constantly put oil in the hair because I don't like that oily look or anything like that. Like I like my hair to be looking natural. Next, does it hold a curl? The answer to that is yes. So out of five, one being doesn't hold a curl at all and five being it holds a curl, I would say it's a three. The reason I'll say it's a three is because this hair, I think, is just naturally very straight. So they kind of steamed the waves with a body wave in it. So after I washed it, that's why it fell. So if I put a curling iron to it, it will hold the curl for about a day before it starts to really drop out. Um, I use the curl band to give myself some Kim Kardashian type of flip curls or Farrah Fawcett curls, whatever generation you might be from. I call them the Kim K, you know, flips and it stayed in for a good two or three days. I've pin curled the hair and the pin curls have lasted for two or three days. Um, the reason I give it a three is because I don't always like doing the pin curls because it takes a lot of time. Um, sometimes I might be just going out on the spur of a moment and I'll put some curls in it. The curls won't last as long as I want them to and I don't like putting hairspray in the hair because the alcohol is just going to dry it out. So I kind of prefer for my curls to kind of just last at least half the day or at least throughout dinner and I find that it doesn't, it kind of drops into a wave. So for that reason I'll give it a three. So I did manageability, curl, tangle, shedding, and the fifth one is, did I say luster? Luster. This hair is very low luster, which is good because it's really natural that way. Um, which is super important. I don't like doll-like hair. I watched some YouTubers reviewing their AliExpress hair and some of them, the hair is so shiny, it just looks so fake to me. This hair is not shiny whatsoever. Like I'm looking at it in the mirror. It's very low luster, it looks very natural. Um, and yeah, I really like it. Like I really, really like it. In terms of length, I will say that it is definitely true to length. I'm five eight and a half, and I'm wearing the longest length, 22 inches, and 22 inches comes to about here to me. Oh, that's a strand. Comes to about here to me. Um, and then I have the 20 inch in. I did not use the 18 inch bundle for two reasons. One, I wanted a more natural look, and two, I, couldn't fit it. I have a long face, so I like volume. I like volume in my hair. I don't like it flat to my head, which is why I dread hat hair. So yeah, this is the hair. I really, really like it. If you're looking for a body wave hair that actually has those waves, this isn't the hair for you. You're gonna have to put them in with like a wand curler or rollers or something. Um, if you're looking for straight hair, like how I'm looking for straight hair with a little bit of texture, then this hair is perfect for you. You will love it. It is true to length. It is definitely really long and manageable. It's one of those things where you can put it on and set it and forget it and just go about your day and know that you look great anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you have any comments questions or anything like that please be sure to leave it below please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you haven't if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much if you're new to my channel welcome and i will see you guys the next time in my next video yes my next video thanks guys for watching bye bye guys